Hello, this is Julie from Soul Sparklets Art, and I'm here to teach you today how to draw a pelican. This pelican's super easy to draw, but it's lots of fun because you'll be able to add your own details. So all I use is a marker, so a, like a black Sharpie or any kind of marker will do, and crayons, and that's it. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna bring you nice and close. And we're gonna get ready to go. So the very first thing we're gonna draw is the pelican's bill. So it's really big. It kind of takes up most of the pelican. So I'm gonna locate, I'm gonna stand my paper up and I'm gonna locate the center of the paper. And this doesn't have to be exact, but from the center, I wanna walk my fingers up just a little bit. And my first line that I do is going to go in the direction of the top corner. So I'm gonna put my marker down and I'm gonna do a really skinny rainbow line. So this line's gonna start going this way and it's gonna quickly turn around and it's gonna come right back like the skinniest rainbow that you've ever seen. My next line is gonna complete his bill. So it's going to start right where that rainbow line left off but a little bit in and it's gonna be a curved line and I'm gonna not connect it. It's just gonna hang out there until I've drawn the rest of my pelican's body. So I'm gonna go back up here where I started my rainbow line and I am going to come and do his head and his body. And the way I'm gonna do it is by making a giant S. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna go up, do my letter S, just like that. So his head's going to be kind of skinny. Now your pelican might end up with a fatter head and that's okay. My pelican generally ends up with a fairly skinny head and then this is his back and this is where his tail sticks out. So in order to complete my pelican, I'm going to finish his tail and I'm going to finish his belly and then I'm going to separate the, the bill from the rest of his body. So here is the tail. It's going to come down for his belly. It's gonna meet up with the bill and it's gonna keep on going until it connects with the head. So that way everything is separated. Now he's gonna need an eye and you can add whatever kind of eye you want. I'm gonna make mine be a little rainbow line to show that he is just so happy. And I'm gonna come down and give him a wing. So I'm going to draw a curved line like a rainbow line and I'm gonna turn this into a teardrop. Give him a nice wing, and I'll give him some lines on his wings to show those feathers. Now I'm gonna give him two feet, and they're gonna go in different directions. So one of his feet's gonna go down, and the other foot's gonna come out close to his belly, like he's stepping up. So the one that's going down, I'm gonna do two short lines, and then I'm going to draw an upside down letter V, just like that. And I'm gonna do bump, bump to make him have his little web feet. And then the other one I'm gonna do coming out of his belly. So again, I'm going to do two short lines and I'm going to do an upside down V and I'm going to do two bump lines. So he has those web feet and then I'll go in here with my marker and add some lines to kind of separate those webbings. So that's it for my pelican. Now I'm gonna give him some fun things to stand on. So when I've seen pelicans in Florida, generally they like to stand on these wooden um, beams or these piers kind of over the water. So I thought it'd be fun to put my pelican on them and to make it look like he's getting higher and higher. So I'm going to go down to his foot his foot that's going downward first. And I'm gonna put my marker and I'm gonna draw an oval right around his foot. And then I'm going to connect it to the bottom by drawing two straight lines down. So that's my starting one. So however high or however low I did my pelican, that's where this one's gonna start. My next one's gonna be a little bit higher. So depending on where you put your pelican, this one might end up being right on the foot or it might just end up being freestyle and just hanging out there. So if you have a foot in the way and your pelican's actually stepping on it, you're gonna do the same thing by drawing an oval around the foot and drawing your lines straight down. 
Now you can see that this one's low, this one gets higher. So this oval, the next one over, I don't want it to be at the same size or at the same height. I want it to be a little bit taller. So I'm gonna move my finger over and then I'm gonna move it up and I'm gonna draw an oval up here. And then I'm gonna draw a line going straight down. So that's my tall one. And over here, I'm gonna draw a shorter one. So here's my shortest one right now. I'm gonna move over and I'm gonna move down and I'm going to draw a short oval and it's kind of a little stubby thing that's stepping out or hanging out in the water. So now it looks like he's stepping up. So I'm gonna put some waves in the background by doing some wave lines. I'm gonna start way up here, go through my pelican, find out if I have any waves left. He only have the one on the side of his bill. And I'm gonna draw another um, part of the, the ocean here by coming down and drawing some more wave lines. And then I'm gonna do a third layer down here. There's my waves. And the reason I did three layers is so I can have them different colors of water. I think it might look really pretty. I'm gonna put some clouds in the background while I have my marker out. Some nice fluffy clouds. And then he is all done with my marker and he's ready to color. So you can choose whatever colors you want for your pelican. Um, I kept my pelican white and I'm gonna choose an orange to color in his bill. Sometimes pelicans have a yellow bill also. You can even make your the bill of your pelican be um, rainbow or polka dotted. You can have a crazy color pelican. You don't have to stick two colors that look like they're more realistic when you do your art. So think about, do you want your pelican to look a little bit more realistic with the colors that a pelican might um, have? Or do you want this bill to be like the star of the show by being all different patterns? So I'm gonna choose to do his little feet in the same color as I do his bill. And that way that white um, pelican part will stick out quite a bit. So there's his bill and there's his feet. And I am going to work on these posts next. So I'm actually going to make my rainbow posts. And the way I'm going to do that is by I still have my orange out. And I'm going to choose this one right here. I'm going to color the top of it orange. And then I'm going to do an outline in orange on the inside of the line, the black line that I drew. So that one's going to be my orange pole. Now I'm gonna color the inside of that brown in a minute, but it gives it a little bit of, a little difference instead of just having four brown poles. So I'm gonna to move to, this is a lighter orange, I think. And I'm gonna do this one down here. So again, I'm gonna start with the very top of my pole, and, or my post. I'm gonna color the top of it and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna outline the inside of my pole right there. And I'm gonna choose a couple of different colors to finish up with. Now this one's orange, so I think I'll do this one as red. So I'm coloring the top of it first, and then I'm going to do the inside line. I have red, I have orange, I have a color that is actually light orange, so it might look yellow on this video. So I'm gonna actually choose this one and make the short stubby one green. I'm coloring the top of it green, and I have some tape there, but I'll color that part green as well. Now I'm gonna come in with brown. So I have a brown here, and I'm gonna color the inside of these, like they're wooden posts that are sticking up in the water that you might see in a lake or at the ocean. I'm gonna go ahead and color them all. And before they would have all been brown, but this way with these rainbow colors, they kind of stand out a little bit more and that makes it more fun. It makes it more visually appealing. So when you look at it, it's more interesting to look at. 
So I'm gonna get a different color of brown, a little bit of a darker brown, and I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow here, a little bit of shading. So along one side, I'm gonna color over the light brown that I use, and it starts looking like this part has a little bit of a shadow. So you can do that with any color by adding um, a lighter color, lighter brown, and then the darker brown right on top. Now I have my water. I'm gonna choose to do three different colors of blue for my water. So I'm gonna choose, whoops, sorry about that. I'm gonna choose this one and this one. And let's see if I have another blue here. I think I have a lighter blue. So sometimes these blues end up purple and I just never know until I start coloring. But I'm just gonna choose my first blue and do this first layer of water. So here we go. And I'm gonna color all the way up until this first wave line. I'm gonna color down here all the way up to his belly. And I'm gonna color on this side also. And I am going to, as soon as I get this first color of blue down, I'm gonna choose another shade of blue for this middle part. So in between these two wave lines. So I'm gonna put that blue away and I'm gonna choose this blue next. And this, oh, this one's a little bit darker. It's almost like a navy blue. So you can choose to go lighter or darker. But again, choosing different colors allows your, your piece of art to be more visually appealing. It's more interesting to look at. And you can imagine maybe this is getting farther out at sea. So the water's a little bit deeper. So that's why it's getting darker. And I have one more layer of water up there. I'm gonna choose this blue here. And oh, it looks like it's almost the same color as the blue that I just used, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep on going and I am going to color in between these two wave lines and I'm gonna be really careful to color around my pelican so my pelican doesn't end up blue like the ocean. Color around the curve of his back and all the way up to that wave line and around the neck. And then we're done with our pelican and all we really need is the sky. So I'm gonna put my pelican in a beautiful sunset. If I can find my yellow, I can find my yellow. So I'm gonna start off this beautiful sunset by drawing a yellow line that goes across. And if it runs into any clouds, I'm just gonna go over and I'm gonna color down to that water line from wherever I drew that yellow line. Here we go. And I'm gonna choose another color that's to contrast and go up. So I'm gonna actually choose pinks because sometimes pinks and purples make a beautiful sunset. So I'm gonna again draw a line that runs into the clouds, goes out the other side. I'm gonna color down to the yellow, but I'm gonna take my pink and I'm gonna color a little bit on top of the yellow too so that the colors mix and blend just a little bit. So again, color down to that yellow and don't just stop at that line, otherwise your, your sunset will look really stripy. Take your pink or whatever color you've chosen and color a little bit on top of that yellow. Now I wanna go a little bit darker at the very top for my last color, so I'm actually choosing magenta, but you could choose purple too. And again, you're gonna color the rest of the sky and you're gonna color down on top of whatever color you just put down. Now I put down pink, you might have put down orange or some other color. So here's me coloring down to the pink 
and then a little bit on top of the pink too. And it helps the colors look in the sunset like they're not as striped. So I'm almost done with my pelican drawing. And I am coloring the top of the sky. And again, down onto that pink. And then you are done with your pelican. And you can see that even though I drew exactly the same thing, it is not the same exactly, is it? The pelicans look a little bit different. And I wanna show you a couple of my students also. So one of them chose to do a lighthouse. And so of course the other one, another one thought it was a good idea. And, and this, and this girl is going into kindergarten, so she did a lighthouse too. So she decided not to do her sky at all, and she decided to do her sky a lighter blue. So you don't have to do a sunset, you can do it however you want. But I hope you enjoyed this really super simple, quick and easy and fun pelican lesson. I'll be doing a lesson every single week, and so I did the pelican, and next week it's gonna be a seahorse. So thanks everyone for joining me. Bye.